Even the most experienced archaeologists haven't seen everything. Very occasionally, they'll still come across something that will make them step back and say, wow. This video is all about those discoveries. From the unusual to the seemingly impossible, all of these finds have surprised every expert who's had the chance to look at them. Let's see if they surprise you just as much. Our first find is an extremely rare ancient Roman Arca Ferrata, or to call it by a more modern name, an ancient Roman safe. This old world lockbox for valuables was in such fragile condition when it was found in 1994 that archaeologists weren't able to fully excavate it until 2019. It's almost a miracle that it was still around to be found at all. The Arca Ferrata was inside a Roman villa called Casa del Mitreo when the building was destroyed by fire some 1600 years ago. The ash and debris caused by the fire formed a protective layer on top of the safe protecting it from harm and decay for centuries. The primary building material of the safe is wood. You might think that's fairly useless for keeping thieves out, but think again. The safe is booby-trapped. Try to open it the wrong way, and it will pierce your flesh with thick iron spikes. Scientists are understandably wary about trying to crack it open for that reason, but they don't think there's anything inside it anyway. Even without any valuables inside it, it's a valuable find because it's one of only four in the world. Let's stay with the Roman theme for a while. An archaeological survey was recently carried out ahead of proposed sewage works in Frosinone, Italy, roughly 50 miles south of Rome. That survey led to the discovery of an ancient Roman bath complex. The once beautiful rectangular pool looks a little battered and weathered, but the mosaic floors and marble cladding are still stunning. Finding the baths has come as a total surprise even to archaeologists who were already familiar with the area. Ancient Roman records indicate that Forisone was known for its rivers and mineral springs, but there's never been any mention of baths. In fact, this is the first sign that any part of the town existed to the left of the river in ancient times. The black and white mosaics, most of which depict Roman gods and mythical beasts, are thought to have been created during the second century. While it's hard to say why the baths and associated buildings were eventually abandoned, archaeologists think that the root cause may have been a flood caused by a change in the course of the river. It's considered cool to have a tattoo in much of the Western world at the moment, but there's nothing new about the art of applying ink to human skins. We even know of a woman who had elaborate arm and shoulder tattoos 2,500 years ago. She's a mummy known as the Altai Princess, named for where she was found buried in Siberia. The mummy was discovered in 1993, but went on display to the public for the first time in April 2021. What's remarkable about her tattoos is that they look almost modern. Archaeologists believe she was in her 20s when she passed away, so perhaps she got her ink for the same reason people get tattoos and body art today. It's fashionable and it looks good. Aside from her tattoos, the Altai princess was found wearing a long silk shirt, elaborately decorated boots, and a blonde horsehair wig. Perhaps she was an ancient ancestor of today's Instagram influencers. No weapons were found buried with her, so historians think it's likely that she was either a storyteller or a healer, both of which are roles that would have been valued highly by her culture. Here in the 2020s, we're so used to seeing iPhones that it's hard to remember a time when they didn't exist. Perhaps there's never been such a time. We say that because of the discovery of this familiar-looking object in a grave in Tuva, Russia in 2019. Tuva is a site that's well known to Russian archaeologists, so much so that it's nicknamed the Russian Atlantis. When archaeologists broke into the grave, they were shocked to see this iPhone-like object inside it, perched on the pelvis bone of the grave's occupant. Common sense tells us that it's not really an iPhone, 
but experts are at something of a loss to explain what it might be. The most common guess is that it's a decorative belt buckle, with the rest of the belt having rotted away over time. The artifact is roughly 2,000 years old, but contains an older mystery. Several Chinese Wuzhu coins are set into the metal object, and the coins are roughly 130 years older than the metal that surrounds them. Why the coins would be kept for this long before being used in a belt buckle is unknown. During the torrid days of World War I, 20 Austrian soldiers took refuge in a cave close to the top of Mount Scorluzzo in Italy. They stayed there for a while, taking steps to camouflage their hiding place so they could safely monitor Stelvio Pass. In May 2021, more than a century after the Austrians left, melting ice revealed some of the things they left behind. A few food rations are still there, along with the dishes the food was eaten from and a few makeshift jackets crafted from animal skins. The fact that soldiers were forced to make clothing from animal skins in the 20th century shows how desperate and extreme the conditions within the cave must have been. At over 10,000 feet above sea level and surrounded by ice, temperatures would have been close to freezing at all times. Elsewhere in the cave, archaeologists have found newspapers, helmets, and rustic mattresses made from straw. If you put the newspapers and the food to one side, these poor soldiers were living in Stone Age conditions. All of the recovered artifacts are scheduled to go on display in a museum in 2022. Could the contents of the Copper Scroll be a treasure map, revealing the location of treasures worth an estimated $3 trillion by modern standards? That's the question that historians and scholars have been asking since it was found in a hillside cave in Qumran in 1952. And they still don't know the answer. The famous Copper Scroll, which is actually made of two separate artifacts, was in a heavily oxidized state when it was discovered, which makes deciphering its contents difficult. Technically speaking, the Copper Scrolls are part of the collection of ancient documents known as the Dead Sea Scrolls. There's an important difference, though. The rest of the Dead Sea Scrolls are all written on papyrus. These scrolls, as the name suggests, are written on thin sheets of hammered copper. After extensive work over many decades, the scrolls have been opened and translated from the early Hebrew script they're written in. They contain a list of over 60 locations, all of which are said to hide massive amounts of gold, silver, jewelry, and precious stones. The gold reserves alone would weigh over 25 tons. Despite the disclosure of the locations, none of the treasures have ever been found. Is this an ancient hoax, or are we just not looking hard enough? The Plain of Jars in Laos is listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. But even UNESCO doesn't know the true history or significance of the stone monuments. There are hundreds of them scattered across the area, left there by the ancient occupants of the land some 3,260 years ago. Very recently, a scientific breakthrough might have revealed their purpose. Many archaeologists have long speculated that the jars were used in burial rituals. It seems they were right. Tiny traces of skeletal material have been found inside some of the jars, confirming that human bodies were once inside them. The jars aren't burial vessels, though. The most likely explanation is that bodies were placed inside the jars during the decomposition period left there until they were skeletal, and then removed to be buried elsewhere. It's a unique and specific burial tradition that hasn't been observed anywhere else in the world. There are still mysteries to be solved here, though, the biggest of which is how the enormous, heavy stone jars were moved here in the first place, and who created them. Unauthorized archaeological digs by treasure hunters have become a problem in Turkey in recent years, so the country's authorities have turned to technology to catch the criminals in their tracks. In the process, they've discovered a late Roman-era sarcophagus buried on farmland. The authorities were working on a tip-off that illegal digging 
was being carried out in Caracasu, not far from the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Aphrodisias in the west of the country. They set up covert surveillance equipment to monitor the area and caught a gang of looters red-handed digging up the farm. After arresting the criminals, professional archaeologists came to the site to finish their work, discovering this beautiful sarcophagus in the process. A second sarcophagus and altar were also found after a little more exploration, but they're not as well preserved as this fantastic specimen. The style of the burial vessel, along with the reliefs carved into its side, suggest that it comes from the Hellenistic era of 2,300 years ago. It hasn't been possible to identify the occupant of the casket, but based on its size and sophistication, it must have been someone important. There are two things that the city of Lemon Grove in California, USA is known for. The first is its gigantic lemon. The second is the pair of ancient mummified bodies connected to the area, the most famous of which is Lemon Grove Girl. The first mummies to be found in the area were discovered by two curious young boys in 1966. They'd heard that Native American tribes brought the remains of their ancestors to be buried in the caves close to Chihuahua, Mexico, and wondered if there were still any there to be found. Amazingly, they succeeded where countless archaeologists had failed and found two of them hidden in a deep, dark corner of the cave network. That's when they made a bad decision. Rather than alerting the authorities, they carried the bodies back over the border to their homes in California. They then stashed them in a garage where they weren't found until one of their parents did some spring cleaning 14 years later. After recovering from the unpleasant shock, she contacted the San Diego Museum of Man, which is where they've been ever since. Experts believe both mummies to be around 1,000 years old. The Egyptian Sphinx is one of the most famous monuments in the world, but is it truly Egyptian in design? Perhaps not. An increasing number of archaeologists and historians believe that the Egyptian Sphinx in Giza is a copy of the so-called Lion of Balochistan in Lesbela, Pakistan. If so, it took the Egyptians a very long time to get around to copying it. The Giza Sphinx is around 4,500 years old. The Lion of Balochista is more like 12,500. The only reason the Egyptian version is more famous is that for a long time, people didn't think the Lion of Balochistan was a monument at all. Incredibly, they believed that its distinctive shape was nothing more than a natural rock formation. Looking at it now, it's hard to imagine how they made such an obvious mistake. Not only is the shape of the lion easy to see with the naked eye, but we can also see the shape of the platform carved into the rock beneath it. After more than 12,000 years, it's understandably weathered, but the niches and pillars are still plainly visible. At least this incredible ancient world monument is finally getting the respect it deserves. Some ancient artifacts seem determined to keep their secrets no matter how hard we try to find them. One of them is the Shigir Idol. Every time a new kind of test is performed on this wooden statue, it concludes that it's even older than the last set of tests suggested. The idol was found submerged in a peat bog in Russia's Ural Mountains in 1890. The archaeologists of the time estimated it to be 10,000 years old. That estimate lasted until 2018, when modern-day scientists carbon dated it with the assumption that they'd find out it was younger. To their astonishment, their tests gave the artifact an age of 11,800. The experts were so stunned that they sent the idol to another set of scientists for further tests. This time, the age came back as 12,100. That makes it more than twice as old as the famous standing stones of Stonehenge in England. The seven-foot-tall statue is decorated with indecipherable hieroglyphs and carvings of human faces. Nobody knows who made it or what its true significance might be. If we can't even determine its age, how can we hope to find out anything else about it? 
In the context of all the other artifacts you've seen in this video, the discovery of a humble woven basket might not sound especially exciting. Allow us to change your mind about that. This particular basket, discovered within the Murabaat cave in Israel in early 2021, is the oldest woven basket in the world. The craftsperson or craftspeople who created it did so a whole 10,500 years ago. If it had been left in any other environment, it would have perished thousands of years ago. But the unique conditions deep within the cave have preserved it almost perfectly. It hasn't even warped or bent, so the lid still fits and was still attached when the artifact was found. There was nothing to be found inside the vessel when the lid was removed, but that didn't spoil the discovery for the archaeologists who found it. At the time this basket was woven, the people of the Levant were in the process of establishing Jericho as the world's first organized town. This find comes from the dawn of human civilization, and yet baskets are still weaved the same way as this one today. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy watching new videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon!